we're going to talk about scientific notation using negative powers. They are used to represent very small numbers. An example is the size of a dust mite. We cannot see a dust mite with the naked eye. We would have to use a microscope. <clears throat> we would have to use a microscope. When you see this, they want us to rewrite each number in scientific notation. I am moving my decimal to the right to put it between the 5 and the 8 or between the numbers that would make it uh, 1 or would make it greater than or equal to 1 but less than 10. In this case, I'm going to move my decimal between the 5 and the 8. So we need to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That means I'm going to say 10 to the negative fifth. Well, every time you see a decimal, you're going to end up with a negative exponent. My new number would be 5.8 times 10 to the negative fifth. Look at the next one. We need to move between the 4 and the 0. That would make my number between the numbers 1 and less than 10. So it would be 4.03 times 10. And we moved it over 1 two places to the negative two. Let's look at the next one. This is a very, very small number. We need to move that decimal between the three and the seven. You can do like we did with the positive powers and knowing that I needed to move it between there, I can count the numbers between the original decimal and where I'm moving it between the three and the seven. I know it's going to be a negative um, power and then I can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I know it's to the negative ten and rewrite it as three point seven times ten to the negative ten. Number four, we need to move that decimal between the one and the seven. We're going to move it over one, two, three spaces and again this is to the negative three, one point seven five. This is how you take standard form and write into scientific notation. Now let's go from scientific notation and write it in standard form using negative exponents. When you have a negative exponent for scientific notation, you're going to take that negative exponent or negative power and move the decimal to the left. Okay, in this case we're going to move our decimal seven times to the left. I'm going to rewrite my number more towards the right. It means I have to move seven places to the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Your empty spaces here get zeros. Rewrite your number at 0 0.0000613. Okay, let's look at the next one. I need to move 12 spaces to the left. Again, I'm going to write my number further to the right and move it over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11, 12. Placing my decimal. Those open spaces get zeros. 0 0.1234567891011 and the 1 would be 12 38. Sort of like what we did before, I already know I'm moving over 1, so I can say 3 minus 1 would give me 2. So that would mean that I actually need two zeros in front of that 5. So I put my decimal, give myself two zeros, and then place the five five. If you're not sure about that, again, I'll show you. Moving it over, one, two, three. This was one, two, three, okay? 0 0.0055. The last one, I know I need to move over one space. Five minus one is four, so I know I would need four zeros, and then the eight, zero, one. This is how you change your scientific notation into standard form or standard notation with negative exponents.